Hey everybody, it's Old Man Van here, back in the Old Man Van Cave, the Old Man Van Castle, July 6th, 2023. Over the last couple of days, a couple of packages have been dropped off at my doorstep. And you know how Old Man Van gets when the UPS driver or the FedEx driver shows up at his door with a new package. So let's get right to it. Here you have them. Two packages. One is from Roadrunner Sports right here. And the other one is directly from ASICS. So what or oh, what could two boxes mean? Well, full disclosure, these two boxes are two different versions or colorways of the same ASICS shoe. These are the new ASICS Gel Keanu 30s. Why did I buy two? A, I got a really good veterans discount from ASICS. B, I get a really good discount from Roadrunner Sports. But C, and the real reason why I have two colorways of the same shoe is, this year, the ASICS Gel Keanu turned 30. The 30th version came out with a limited edition colorway that in the pictures I saw, I'm like, you know, that looks so darn cool. I don't know if I'm gonna to wanna to run in that if I buy that colorway. Maybe I'll just wanna hold on to it because it's A, a limited edition, and B, it's just so cool. So that's what I did. So call me crazy, but you know me, I just love my running shoes. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. First of all, both of these are 11 and a half D, my regular size, and I'm really excited to see what they look like. All right, first of all, I think I'm gonna start with the one from Roadrunner Sports, and I think we'll get to the limited edition colorway after, so maybe you'll stick around until then. So here we go. Let's get this thing unboxed. Let's get this open. I know, trying to hold a GoPro while I'm doing this isn't the easiest thing, but we'll figure it out. Okay, good, I think I got the plastic off. Let's get this over. I'm going to use my feet. Look at that. I'm going to use my feet in my UFOs. Kick that out of the way. Here you have this really nice A6 box. Wow, it's really cool. Black with a nice gold A6 logo on it. And you can see it is the A6 Gel Keanu 30th anniversary. Actually, I think I got the wrong one here. I think this one is the 30th anniversary edition, and you can see it right there. So I'm gonna put that aside for a minute, and we're gonna to go to this one, which is the one directly from A6, which is not the anniversary edition colorway. Let's get this one open. All right, gotta manhandle this a little bit. So here we go, ripping it down. Ah, you see, it's a regular brown box. So look at that box over there, and look at this box. So. That's another reason why I think I want to keep the 30th anniversary edition colorway pristine. So let's get this off. Use my UFOs again. Ah, there we go. Got it out of there. Here we have your typical regular A6 box. And then you've got this gorgeous A6 black with gold logo for the 30th anniversary edition. Okay, let's get right to the unboxing. First, the box from A6. This is your typical A6 box, brown corrugate. Let's open that sucker up. And wow, there you have it, right? Just typical box, typical white wrapping paper around the shoe. Let's get right to the shoe. Ah, uh, there you have it. Doesn't that look familiar, right? That looks like old man van running colors right there. Wow, that's pretty cool. Here we have it. There is the ASICS Gel Keanu 30. It's got a pretty substantial stack height in this shoe. We'll get into those details later. As you can see, it says pure gel on there because there is a gel pad in there. It's the Gel Keanu 30. It's got your little ASICS logo there back on the back. And it's got Flight Foam Blast Plus for that midsole. So the colorway is really cool. You've got the white, yellow, and black, which matches Old Man Van's colors exactly. Just a very, very good looking shoe. 
pretty hefty actually pretty hefty but there's a lot of midsole foam there let me push that out of the way there's a lot of midsole foam there and actually what looks like a medial post right here is actually softer material this 4d guidance system we'll get into that a little bit but that's actually softer than the foam around it so you might look at that and say oh that's a medial post but no that's not upper looks really really nice just a very good looking shoe obviously question is going to be how does it feel out there on the road significant significant stack height so this is more of a max stack height max cushioned daily stability trainer so really looking forward to getting this on the feet and getting out there and giving you my first impressions so now let's get to the other box the special box the 30th anniversary edition box very nice looking box kind of a special edition box right with the gold asics lettering on it and logo the gold asics logo there again this is an 11 and a half d which is my regular size again i purchased this because i saw the colorway this is the 30th anniversary edition colorway and i felt that it looked so nice if it actually is as nice as it looked i'm going to want to keep it and not do anything with this shoe let's open it up okay well already we see some differences right besides the outside of the box you've got some nice graphics on the inside of the box it's got some kind of technical drawings about where the gel pad is all that good stuff that's really cool then it's got the gel nimbus below that so that's pretty neat i really really like that down into the box itself you've got the typical paperwork i'll throw that out and then you've got this really cool wrapping paper in here uh, this has pretty much the same stuff right that's on the inside cover of the box it's got little graphics of the shoes and of the construction of the shoes and different things like premium comfort just really really neat touch all this is great but i know you want to get to the shoe so let's get that opened up so you can see what this shoe looks like boom 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 boom, boom. whoa look at that colorway look at that shoe let's take her out wow look at that colorway my lord you've got white a white midsole you've got some blue kind of sidewalls almost like guide rails that brooks has you've got black on the asics logo surrounded by gold so you've got white black blue and gold in this shoe look at that look at that gold gel keano 30 logo the gold pure gel really really nice look at that upper it's just pristine white really cool colorway and also you've got the black around the heel and ankle collar that's neat just really really neat let's look at that outsole look at that black outsole you've got some blue in that outsole as well so the ahar plug in the back there that's blue and then the rest of it's black with the white midsole material so just a beautiful beautiful colorway and that's exactly why i purchased two of them so i would not have to wear these and dirty them up so that's me you know what sometimes you got to do what you got to do it's something i really enjoy so you know hey you know i'm not spending my money on other kind of stuff i'm actually buying running shoes which i run in so you know what gotta have my vices right so let's put her back in the box and then that'll be it for today i'm going to get these shoes on my feet this weekend and get a first impressions review out to all you folks so this unboxing will be part of that video stay tuned really look forward to giving you my first impressions okay everybody we are out here at the quinnipiac linear trail in wallingford connecticut and today is the first run and i've been really excited and waiting for this the first run in the asics gel kano 30s the new ones that i have here in old man van running colors
this so far, a little less than a mile in. What I'm noticing right off the bat is just a different feel on the foot than the A6 Gel Cano 29. More cushioning, definitely more of a max cushion feel. Also, they don't slap on the ground, so they don't feel like they've got a flat platform that's just kind of clunky. Remains to be seen as I get into the longer miles, but so far, very pleasant feel on the foot. One other thing, and we'll talk about it in detail, is this upper, vast improvement. This is much lighter than the upper in the Gel Cano 29. And I'm gonna say it's gonna be probably much more ventilated, much cooler than the Gel Cano 29. So, so far so good. It's just the first mile, but let's see how it goes. So I just hit the three mile mark. Really enjoying this run so far. Just much less clunky feel than the A6 Gel Cano 29s. Much smoother feel. And I'm gonna tell you the midsole. Midsole has a little bit of bounce to it. It's got plenty of cushioning. I'm not wallowing in that cushioning, so that's good. A much better feel, albeit only three miles in, than the A6 Gel Keanu 29. So, so far, very happy with it. Also like the midsole, so far, better than the midsole in the Gel Keanu Light 3. Okay, one last thing. We're into mile five, actually 5.6 miles, almost done, the six miler. This is the most oppressively humid day I've experienced so far. Not counting the wildfire smoke, but this is brutal out here, it's not that hot. But I can tell you that the upper on the Gel Keanu 30 is much more breathable than the Gel Keanu 29. So I really like it. My feet are not overheating at all, although the rest of me is. So, great, great job with the upper A6. So, a great first run in the A6 Gel Keanu 30. Really impressed to give you my ultimate rating at 100 miles, but really, really good first run out there. Again, oppressively humid. That being said, I got through, my feet did not get too warm, which is really important. And it just felt smooth throughout. The ride, very, very smooth no clunkiness whatsoever, so pretty happy with the first run. Let's get into the first impressions review. Okay, we're back. Let's get right into the first impressions review. Now, as you see up there in the back, I have two versions of this shoe. You saw it in the unboxing. I've got the Old Man Van running colors, right? That black, yellow, and white. That's the one I'm running in, and I have this really cool, cool 30th anniversary edition that I'm keeping pristine. I'm gonna display it downstairs in its special edition anniversary box just because I really like the colors. It's a cool looking shoe. Let's get right into price. Price is $160 US. That's pretty consistent with Stability Daily Trainers these days, so not too bad there. There are places you can get discounts. If you're a first responder or a medical person, you can go to ASICS and get discounts there. If you're a veteran, you can get discounts. Roadrunner Sports, I use them and I get significant discounts with their VIP program. So if you buy a lot of shoes like I do, it's worthwhile. If you don't buy much, well, I, you know, I don't know if it's gonna really work out for you. Next we have weight. The weight in the shoe, it went up a little bit from the ASICS Gel Keanu 29. The weight is 10.7 ounces or 303 grams in a men's size nine. And I actually have the women's information here as well. You've got 9.3 ounces or 263 grams in a women's size eight. So you women out there, I don't wanna forget you. So I'm gonna start putting in the weights for you gals. What I will say is that it doesn't feel any heavier than the Gel Cano 29, which I think was about 10.4 ounces. So it doesn't feel almost 11 ounces on your feet, but it's not a lightweight shoe. Next we have stack height. We're 
in the days of max stack height, max cushion. So the stack height on the A6 Gel Keanu 30 is 40 millimeters in the rear foot, right up against that, you know, limit for world-class runners, and 30 millimeters in the forefoot. That gives us a heel to toe drop of 10 millimeters. Now, you know I like eight millimeters. 10 millimeters is what I typically use for those really long, easy runs. And through marathon training, as I start getting up in those double digits, mid double digits, all the way up to almost 20 miles, I like to have 10 millimeters there because I start to heel strike a little bit more. So this is ideal for this type of shoe. So let's get into construction and ratings. First of all, this upper. This upper is an engineered stretch knit upper. I think you can see it there. It's got plenty of perforations in here. It's nice and pliable. It's much thinner than the upper in the A6 Gel Cano 29, which was very, very hot on the foot. This is much, much better. It does have some internal reinforcement here in the toe box. That's pretty good. It does have overlays. The A6 logo is a pretty substantial overlay. Whether it's there to provide additional structure, I don't know, but it's, it's pretty thick. I do believe it's reflective as well to help for you know, those low light runs. There's also some reinforcement overlays around the eyelets, which is pretty good and, and pretty necessary for a trainer that you're gonna to try to get hundreds and hundreds of miles on. You don't want any wear there at the eyelets. As you move to the back of the shoe, the heel counter, you've got this external heel counter right here. This is very, very hard material provides a lot of structure to that heel. In the back here, you also have a very, very firm, firm internal heel counter. What you don't have is you don't have what was on the Gel Keanu 29, which was this kind of almost TPU or plastic kind of cup around that heel counter. Moving on to the laces. The laces are relatively flat. They don't have much stretch. There's a little bit stretch there. They're a little thicker than I typically like, but they work very well. They're not rounded and they're not too stretchy, so that's good. You have a semi-gusseted padded tongue. It doesn't move around too much. What I like about it is it's less padding than in the Gel Keanu 29, so very good there. Moving on to the heel and ankle collar. Again, this is a daily stability trainer. You've got plenty of cushioning in the ankle and heel collar. It's not as much again as it was in the Gel Keanu 29. So it's not overdone at all, but it's plenty. I did find in this upper that I had plenty of room. So there was plenty of room in the toe box for my toes display. I wore 11 and a half D. My toes were able to display. It's true to size. Lastly, you've got this ortho light sock liner. Um, it's very comfortable. It does seem to be more comfortable than what was in the Gel Keanu 29, but it's taking me a little time to get used to that. And I did today, and maybe it was the socks I was wearing, have a few hot spots. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the comfort section. I'm going to give the upper on the Gel Keanu 30 a score of 9.25. It's an improvement over the Gel Keanu 29. I still think there could be some additional improvements when we get to the comfort, but it's a really good update, much, much better, much more breathable. So good job ASICS in improving that upper. Moving on to the midsole. This is probably the biggest improvement in this shoe. In the Gel Keanu 29, you had some Flight Foam Blast Plus right here, but you also had some firmer material here and that was to help with the stability. You had the gel pad here that you could see. Uh, there's a little window to that. You then had that you know, firm, firm heel counter there. What you have in the Gel Keanu 30 is just a big, big block in more stack height of the Flight Foam Blast Plus. The Flight Foam Blast Plus is a great, great midsole material. It's soft, but not marshmallowy soft. And it does have some spring to it. It's similar, at least I feel it's similar, to the feel I get in the Glycerin GTS 20 from Brooks. It has a little bit of pop to it when you pick up the pace. It's not the springiest stuff out there, but it's, it's pretty good. It's just a really nice kind of middle ground with that material. So I really like it in this shoe. 
And it's great that there's no medial post there or firmer material to kind of offset the great, great feel of this midsole. Now, one thing I'll add is on the medial side, you'll see what looks like a medial post, but it's not. It's some softer, springier material than even the Flight Foam Blast Plus. That's really good. I don't know what it does, but it's not a hard medial post. Now, because of the massive stack height here and the 30 millimeters in the forefoot, this is a pretty stiff shoe. Very, very stiff, this midsole. Now, it's stiffer than the Gel Keanu 29, but it's not so stiff like a carbon plated shoe, so it felt very comfortable out there on the road. A couple of other things with this midsole, you got a nice bevel here, so when you heel strike, it really moves you smoothly through the gait cycle. And it's also sculpted, as you see here, so that removed some material. It's got a nice sculpted midsole here. What that does, I don't really know, but it's pretty cool looking. So awesome job, Asics, with this midsole. I'm gonna give this midsole a 9.5 out of 10. Just very, very comfy. Very comfy, but it's not dead. It's comfy, cushioned, and it's got a little bit of spring to it. Now to the outsole. Outsole is pretty good on this shoe. Plenty of rubber coverage here. As you can see on the Gel Keanu 29, it's very, very similar. Very similar. And it uses that high abrasion resistance rubber compound, specifically the AHAR Plus right here. And this is that AHAR Plus plug. I found that on my Gel Keanu 28, my Gel Keanu 29, and also on the Gel Keanu Light 3, the wear on these soles is exceptional. So as long as the midsole holds up and the upper holds up, you should get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles on this shoe. Also, this outsole is very grippy. There are some flex grooves here. Just a real, real good outsole. Great job, Asics, not messing with what works. So on the outsole, I'm gonna give the outsole of the Gel Keanu 30 a score of 9.5 out of 10 as well. Now to stability. This is a very stable shoe. However, I really like what Asics has done here. They've made the stability subtle so it doesn't feel overcorrected. Instead of having multiple densities of midsole material, instead of having medial posts, they've just taken a number of less intrusive stability elements, put them all together, and it makes a very stable, comfortable shoe. First of all, you've got a very wide base here. You can see how wide this is all the way from the rear foot through the forefoot. You also have sidewalls here, sidewalls on the medial side, sidewalls on the lateral side. So you've got that wide base, you've got those sidewalls, almost like the Brooks shoes. Uh, just gives you a really nice stable platform. And you also have kind of this guidance line here. I don't know if that's the term they use, but what it does is it just helps center your foot and keep your foot rolling straight through the gait cycle. And then you've got this really firm external heel counter that keeps your foot centered, especially when you heel strike and it prevents you from collapsing inward. Now, as you see here, they've got listed here 4D guidance. I'm not really sure what 4Ds are, but what I can tell you is ASICS markets this as an adaptive stability system. So basically what they're saying is that as you run, as your foot strike changes, you know, if you're on a long run and you're heel striking and then you go to mid to forefoot striking or vice versa, the shoe adapts to how your foot is striking the ground and provides different stability based on how your foot is striking. So how that really works, I'm not really certain. I'm not the ASICS design engineer, but all I can tell you is I've taken it on a six mile run and I've taken it on a 10 mile run. And so far it's been very, very stable, but I've never felt overcorrected. So for all those reasons, I'm gonna give the stability of the A6 Gel Keanu 30 a score of 9.5 out of 10. Less intrusive stability, great, great work. On to performance. Now I did say that this midsole, this Flight Foam Blast Plus, does have a little bit of springiness to it. But I'm gonna tell you, this is not a fast day shoe. It's not. It's 10.7 ounces in a men's size nine. It's almost 11 ounces. But this is a perfect, 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 long run, easy day shoe. This is the perfect shoe 
for if you want to save your legs or you're going on that 18 mile, 20 mile long run during your marathon training. It's just a great, great option for that. So from a performance standpoint, it's not the fastest out there. It does roll through very smoothly. I will tell you that. It's not slappy, not clunky at all. It does have a really nice roll through the gait cycle, that stiffness in the forefoot. It's got a slight rocker here, nothing overdone, but it just has a very smooth ride, but I wouldn't call it a fast shoe. So because of the weight and because it's not the most versatile shoe out there, it's got a specific place and a rotation, I'm going to give performance on the A6 Gel Keanu 30 a score of 9.25 out of 10. Still a very good score, but again, it's just not the most versatile shoe out there. Now to comfort. Comfort! First run was outstanding. Step and feel was great. Everything about the feel of the shoe was awesome, awesome, awesome. Only thing is today, and you know, it might be because of the socks I was wearing, I'm not sure. Today on my 10 mile longer run, I did develop a few hot spots. Maybe I need to break it in a little bit. Maybe it was the socks. I had a little bit of a hot spot outside of my left little toe and left heel, and also a hot spot on the outside of my right big toe. Whether or not, it's the socks. I don't know because like I said, on my six mile run yesterday, had no hot spots whatsoever and I had a different pair of socks on. Outside of that, the feel is so much better than the Gel Keanu 29, so much better. Just very, very comfortable, plenty of room, good lockdown all the way around, no issues there, not too tight in the midfoot. I like the feel of that Ortholite sock liner, although, you know, I think it could break in a little bit more. But overall, a very, very comfortable shoe. You know, that midsole makes it just wonderful. My legs are fresh after that 10 mile run, despite those hot spots. So for comfort, I'm gonna give the A6 Gel Keanu 30 a score of 9.25 out of 10. Still a good score. Hopefully those hot spots will work themselves out. I'll put some different socks on. If everything holds up, the comfort might raise maybe to a 9.5 at 100 miles. Now to value. I know $160 for a pair of shoes isn't chump change, but it's right in the ballpark for stability daily trainers these days. As I mentioned, there are ways to get discounts out there, but the key thing here is I think this is going to be a durable shoe. Based on that outsole, I think that midsole is gonna hold up. I think that upper is gonna hold up. If all those things work out and you can get four or five, 600 miles out of this shoe, I think this shoe is a great, great value. So for that reason, I'm gonna give value a 9.5. That brings me to the overall rating. The A6 Gel Keanu 30 comes in with an initial rating of 9.4 out of 10. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. A6, you've listened to the feedback and you've made this shoe much better than its predecessor. I'm not the biggest fan of the A6 Gel Keanu 29 and I was hoping against hope that you'd make massive improvements to the 30th version. And I'm happy to say you knocked it out of the park. So there you have my first impressions review of the all new, and I'm saying all new because it's a massive update, A6 Gel Keanu 30. So your timing is impeccable, A6. I've just started my New York City Marathon training and the A6 Gel Keanu 30 is gonna be a mainstay in my training rotation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got to the end, I really do appreciate it. Remember, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you'll get notified when more videos are posted. Remember, comments, 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 any and all comments are really appreciated, really helps my channel. And if you know friends, running pals, whatever, that you feel would like the Old Man Van Running channel, please let them know, maybe they'll subscribe as well. So thanks again for watching, and remember, lace up those shoes, and let's get out on the roads.